Well, well, well. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll show you to this almighty book. <coughs> the Midnight Gang by David Williams. And it's, illust it's illustrated by Tony Ross, like always. Well, let's get right on to it. Here are the characters. This is Tom. He's 12 and goes to a posh burning school. He has a hurt his head. Amber is 12. She has broken both of her le arms and both of her legs, so has been in a wheelchair for some time. Robin is also 12. He's recovering from an operation to save his eyesight, and for now, can't see a thing. George is 11 and from the east end of London, which makes him a cockney. He's recovering from having his toenails taken out in an operation. Sally is just 10 and the youngest of the group. Because she's so ill, Sally spends most of her time sleeping. Those are the members of the Midnight Gang. Of course, there are some side characters. And such and such. And so here we are. And the midnight and when the little boy, our main character, Tom, he she she's hurt by a cricket ball on his head and he goes to a hospital. <gasps> there there she meets the Midnight Gang. These children were going out secretly every night. And the Midnight Gang's goal was very simple. To make every single member's wildest dreams come true. At least in, at least in a realistic way. Not exactly real. For example, if you want to fly, they could do it. If you want to visit the Arctic, They'll make a miniature ice cap for you. And so, and so, and so, and so, and so. That is it's just awesome, the Midnight Gang. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Midnight Gang is led, and the Midnight Gang is a very fun place to be anytime. And their dreams come true every night. And Tom finally takes a place in their group, but soon he has to leave because his head had st is completely fine now. <gasps> Did that mean he wouldn't get to have one last night in the Midnight Gang? She didn't deserve a wish though. Sally, a very sick girl, said that her only wish was to have a big, beautiful life. So, they decided even if it was the last thing the Midnight Gang did, they would let her dream come true. Could the children perfectly make the beautiful plan of, of our dear friend's big full life, big happy life? Could they escape the deadly matron who takes over the children's ward and yet is very, very, very evil? Who knows? I mean, I know, but you might not. Plus, there's one quite funny and you, it makes you feel fuzzy inside, secret. And, and there's some kind of surprise in the end and such and such. So, and David Wong's book. By that I mean it's humorous, it's awesome, it makes you laugh, and yet you might think it might happen, but it can't, it, it can't happen. That's what David Wong does. He plays with your imagination. And well, he's very own imagination too. He's one of the largest in the world. And like always, the book was the book was